Hey guys, this is Rob here again today. So today we got another e-liquid review and these e-liquids were sent to me for purpose of review from a company called Perfect Alternative E6. So this company is a USA company out in Aurora, uh, Colorado and once again they did send these e-liquids for purpose of review. Now I will put their website link in the description down below but I did have went to their website and they really don't have any descriptions of what the e-liquids are so I have no way of telling you now a lot of their e-liquids do have like uh, they'll have like a blueberry waffle which you, we all know what blueberry waffle is going to be fire fireball we know what that's going to be it's a cinnamon uh, go, uh, cinnamon gobstopper type of thing it's going to be hot cinnamon uh, like I say, they do have a lot of their uh, names, like Sweeter the Dew, probably a Mountain Dew. Uh, but they do have names like Van Winkle. I don't know what it is. Uh, they don't really, once again, they do not have any descriptions of their e-liquids. This is basically what they got on their website. It just has all the names of the e-liquids that they do. And I don't see uh, where you can actually buy them without contacting them, without emailing them or calling them. But they do have a Facebook, a Twitter, an Instagram, a Yelp, and a Pinterest uh, accounts. So you can check them out through there. Now they do sell mods also and R RBAs, tanks, and uh, little Ego style e-cigs and stuff like that. Now once again, there's no descriptions on any of these. So I cannot tell you what they're actually supposed to be. So we're just going to try these out taste them up and see what they taste like you know and give you my honest opinion about what I think about them so once again these are premium supposed to says all of our pro, all of our premium e-juice are made in USA right here in Colorado perfect alternatives only sells the finest e-liquids created with ingredients all 100% FDA approved so you know, we'll check them out, see what they taste like. Once again, I will put a link in the description down below so you can check out their website, see what their flavors actually are. And they do have an area where you can click and contact them. Give them maybe your, their email or phone number where you can actually contact them yourself. Let's see what it says. If I do uh, see what their contact is. And yeah, they have their phone number and you can email them also. So, there you go. You can check them out that way. Maybe ask them for a list uh, description. I have not, I did not do that. Uh, they did send these e liquids for purpose of review. So, that's all I'm going to do is review them and I'll tell you what I think about them. So, first off, uh, the bottles are child proof caps. These are 10 mil bottles and these are zero milligrams of nicotine. Now these things do have all the warning labels. It does say made in USA. It does have 0, 06, 12, 18, or 24 milligrams is what you can get. I do not know what the PGVG ratio of these are. These are 10 mil bottles. And once again, they do have all the warning labels, but it's real small. It's real fine print. And you do have the must be 18. And stuff like that it does have an expiration date and they do have childproof caps so they got all the FDA regulations I really just wish that they had a description of what their e-liquids were on the website so let's get this started first off we're gonna do this one here and this is called bomb pop so let's uh, get a little whiff here and they do come with a, a needle nose style dripper right there. And for me, the bomb pop smells like a, a citrusy style vape. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm getting like a I don't know. I'm getting like the citrusy smell really overpowering it any of the other flavors that could be in there so we're going to put that in the Sentinel V3 with the Nimbus RDA 
with fresh cotton so let's get it all wicked up here always got to get the cotton all wick I do use cotton so you do got to get it nice and wet so it don't catch on fire or anything looks like it's gonna be decent vapor production and once again I there wasn't too much information on the website so I do not know what the VG PG ratios are and I do not know what the actual flavors these are supposed to be unless it just says like I think I got a blueberry waffle which we all know what blueberry waffle is and then I got one called Miami Vice I'm guessing that that's probably going to be like a Hawaiian type thing where you're going to get pineapples, uh, a bunch of different uh, fruits. So let's let's give the uh, bomb pop a shot. Decent vapor production right off the bat. So yeah, I'm really getting the citrusy uh, taste of this. Uh, it's kind of really overpowering the flavor to me so I really can't give you tell I can't really figure out what flavor is in there because the citrusy flavor is really taking over on this e-liquid here yeah, it's uh, really taking over on the flavors for me I'm not really getting too much of anything else but the citrusy flavoring I think it I, I might get like a, a little bit of a lemon lime or something like a lemon lime lemon bomb pop or something uh, yeah I think I, I think it's like a, a that must I might be one of the flavors in there is a lemon because I do believe I'm getting a, a, a citrusy lemon type of flavor from this Yeah, I believe it's a a, a lemon citrus lemon uh, vape. Yeah. Which I'm sure that's probably what they was going for was a nice citrusy uh, vape on this, but uh, for me, I'm not really into the lemony type of citrus I believe that is a lemon uh, lemon citrus vape right there but uh, for me it's uh, I'm not too much into the lemon but I believe that is lemon lemon citrus uh, bomb pop it's not one of my uh, favorite vapes I guess that's what you could say uh, it's real citrusy and I do believe it's a, a lemony citrus so that's enough of that one okay guys uh, that was the bomb pop and I do believe that is a citrus lemon uh, so next off we're going to do we're going to do the blueberry waffle right here we're gonna do the blueberry waffle right there blueberry waffle let's take a, a smell now I'm really I'm not really getting too much uh, smell on this Yeah, it's really, I don't, I'm not getting any smell at all. Oh, there it is. A little bit of a blueberry. I get a little bit of blueberry. Which blueberry is my favorite vape. So I really hope this one tastes uh, good. So let's, oh, we're going to put that in the AR clone with the Helios RDA with fresh cotton this dual coil let's get it all lubricated or wet all juiced up here there we go yeah I'm kinda getting like a a, a battery 
smell, like a waffly smell to it. So, Alright guys, let's give it a vape. I am getting uh, uh, like a battery taste of this. I'm not getting too much blueberries for me. Decent vapor production. I think it's uh, probably about a 50-50. They don't really say, but I believe the, the consistency is about a 50-50. So yeah, on this one I am getting the uh, battery waffly flavor, but I'm not getting uh, any blueberry flavor on this one. Uh, yeah. By all, no, by all means, neither one of these juices taste bad. It's just, it's just not for me. Um, I'm not getting the blueberry. I'm just getting like a uh, a battery type of flavor to this. Is all I'm getting. Um, yeah, that's that's about what I'm getting is the battery flavoring and no blueberry so that'll be it for that one there and once again it they don't taste bad it's just not my taste uh, profile or my taste palette for those so let's go ahead and go to the next one and that is the Miami Vice the Miami Vice so I'm really hoping this is like a nice f mixture of fruit yeah it's kind of it's real fruity to me so let's go ahead and wick this up we're gonna put that in the copper vanilla clone with the another Nimbus RDA clone with fresh cotton so let's go ahead and get it wicked up now this is like a, a pinkish color this one is here I never noticed that before it says made in the USA up inside there or may it yeah, was that may what does that say in there may the 22nd or something Yeah. Maybe that's the born on date inside there. Now these bottles aren't the easy squeezy bottles. They are a little bit of a, a tight tight squeeze bottles. So let's go ahead and get it down in there. Put the top back on. Let's give it a trip or hit. Yeah, now I am getting like a like a, a fruity vape on this.
think I'm already dry. I gotta get some more on there. Now, once again, I am getting a like a fruity vape from this one. Kind of like I'm. I'm kind of like getting a little bit of strawberry in there. Maybe a little watermelon. It's not bad. Uh, doesn't taste like gross or anything. Yeah. So that was the Miami Vice. And once again, uh, this one here is not my taste palette either. Um, none of them tasted chemically or perfumey or flowery or anything like that. They didn't have any of that on there. No, no uh, uh, alcoholic uh, smell or taste or anything whatsoever. But uh, now these three juices I did a review on, uh, for me, it's not my taste palette. Uh, by no means are they bad, like disgusting. It's just not for me. Okay. So once again, I will put a link in the description down below so you can check their website out. But once again, they don't really have any descriptions of what the e-liquids are. They do have a contact where you can email them or you can call them and find out yourself to see what they really are. And then, then pick from there if you'd like to try their e-liquids and I do not know what the prices are. I wish they would have sent me a, a description of the e-liquids that they did send and I wish they would have sent me the price list of what the e-liquids cost. So once again three e-liquids by no means tasted bad it's just they were not my taste palette. That's all I can say. I just it just wasn't for me. They're not all day baits for me. So alright guys Till next time.